Good morning, we got a big day ahead of us. We're doing fitness testing to figure out my threshold paces for the swim, run, and the bike. Tomorrow is the FTP test. Today, Monday, is the swim test and the run test. So what I'm doing is a max effort 400 meter swim and a max effort 200 meter swim. See my time and my heart rate response to those and then planning the next eight weeks leading into the sprint triathlon based on those threshold paces. And now we're getting a little more specific to the race with the training and then after this sprint triathlon, we go back to base building to prepare for the 70.3 half Ironman in Victoria, BC. I found a new hack for the wetsuit. When I go to put it on, I put a plastic bag on my foot and then slide it through, other foot slide it through and then same thing on the hands. It makes it way easier to, to put on without having to stretch and, and yank on the suit to get it on. It started to create some small minor tears in the material from yanking it. So this has helped tremendously. I already seem to have lost my pull boy. I think I left it maybe one time I went to the lake, but uh, we don't have it. So I usually use it to warm up and prepare, but we won't be using that today. For the 400, it would be awesome if I can get anything in the six minute range, six whatever, the sixes, just below seven. I don't see myself getting under six minutes, but anywhere in the six minute range, whether it's 620, 640, 650, awesome. The 200, I am expecting, you know, around 330 or so. We did the 400 meter swim test. I did it in 7.13. I went out too fast, to be honest. I got there really quick. Uh, it was like my fastest lap ever. Basically, uh, there's 80 meters and then back is another 80. So I did five lengths in total for 400 meters. And I just went to, I went out too hard. Uh, form felt better than ever. I noticed even on the last one, as I was going there in the very end, I noticed my right arm wasn't pulling much. So I had to give more effort on the right arm because my left my left is more natural when I pull. It's, it's stronger, but my right one, I wasn't thinking straight. So. We're resting for three to five minutes, and then now I'm doing the 200 meter max effort test, and we're gonna see how fast we can do that in. We did the 400 meter swim in 7.13, rested for three to five minutes, and then did the 200 meter swim in 3.34. Almost beat the goal of anything under seven. I was close, I was close. You know, I, I really was hoping I would get under. I'm, I'm not too discouraged, honestly, not a big deal. Um, what I'm most happy about was that entire swim workout. I did the most meters in the lowest amount of time. I took the least amount of rest compared to prior sessions to get the total amount of distance in. Let me catch you up on the day. This morning, I got up at 5 a.m., went through the full routine. You know the drill, the greens, the red, the coffee, the audiobook, and the shower, the meditation, the stretching, the journaling, the goal setting, the targets of the day. We set all that and then went to go train some clients from about 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. Came back, had cereal. It was vector cereal with another cereal and a scoop of chocolate whey protein. Total about 50 grams of protein in that cereal bowl and then traded from 9 a.m. to about 10.30. I ended up losing about 5% on one trade and then 7% gainer on another trade. Right now, I plan on showing mainly the triathlon training vlog leading up to the 70.3 May 29th, 2022. All the training, all the progress, vlogging all of that leading up to the event. Then I went into the swim test at 11 a.m. and in total, got, just got back just before 1 p.m after showering and everything. Now it's about 1.15 and I'm having four slices with lots of peanut butter and apricot jam. That's right, apricot jam on there. That's gonna be the post-swim meal and also the pre-run test meal. I'm doing the run test at 4.30 and I'm getting my friend. I'm doing the run test at 4.30. I'm getting my friend John, who's a past client of mine, to do some videoing for me. I'm going to aim to maintain just over four minutes per kilometer for the entire run test. It's a 30 minute threshold test. So the goal is to see how fast of a pace I can maintain and hold for 30 minutes and then see what my average heart rate is over that period. I just woke up from a nice little nap, took a 40 minute nap. It's uh, three, it's 340 now. I'm gonna be at the track in less than an hour. I'm just gonna pick up some stuff real quick. I brought electrolytes. I'm sipping on scratch with a little bit of pre-workout for caffeine to wake back up essentially before we do this test. I'll be honest, my body's feeling quite drained after that swim test. so. 
I'm not too pumped about this max effort run. It's 30 minutes to see if we can hold just over four minutes per kilometer. We're gonna give it what we got. I don't, I've never held around four minutes per kilometer for 30 minutes. The most I've held four minutes per kilometer was 20 minutes and that was a max effort 5k attempt we did that in 20 minutes on the dots i should be running at about 410 per kilometer and then just see if we can hold that for the 30 minutes we just finished the threshold test i actually did it just around fairy lake it's just this path you go around multiple times so i kept going around until 30 minutes was up about 15 minutes in i got a cramp so i actually stopped for 30 seconds and then it restarted uh, halfway in but um so that counts the cheat a little bit but we did 7k in the 30 minutes which was the goal anyways we're just having some salmon and rice i'm gonna have some dried mangoes maybe some toast and pb again uh, to be honest i'll probably have crackers after this i'm toast it's already eight o'clock this day flew by me i trained clients replied to emails you know typical typical routine traded got a lot done red eight Good morning, we have our last max effort fitness test. We're doing an FTP test, 20 minutes max watts. Last time I did this test about a month ago, I held an average of 251 watts over the 20 minutes, which averages out to 238 watts for the hour, so that's my FTP. This time I'm gonna aim for holding 270 watts or higher over the 20 minutes, see if we can do that, because that would give me an FTP of over 250, and that would be great at 76 kilograms. I'm actually kind of slowly losing weight. I might be closer to 75 kilograms soon, because I'm 166 today. Really packing in the toast, crackers, rice, and cereal to get enough carbs in to maintain the weight. I'm having two eggs, a few slices of turkey bacon, and one cup of egg whites right here. And I'm gonna have some toast after this as well. I did just run out of scratch. I ordered it yesterday, but we're gonna see if it came in last minute. I would love to get some scratch, drink that, but just before I, I, I start the actual 20 minute FTP test just for a little boost, but we'll see. We are all set to go. Well, just got back. Wasn't able to end up doing the test. As I was warming up, chain kept falling off. I think it's because last time when I fell off at the end there, I probably bent something. So now every time I shift to the lowest gear, it falls off immediately and gets stuck. I called the bike shop and I'm gonna take it in later today and they're gonna keep it for two days. And then I'm gonna get my bike back and do the FTP test then. But that'll be after like not doing any cycling for a week at that point. Is what it is. We're gonna get ready and actually go over to do the swim. I'm gonna see if I can book the pool. If not, we'll just go over to the lake. We just finished the swim session, didn't have anything to record, but looks like, uh... It's a little little tight on the goggles there. Swim session went really well. Did lots of 100 pulls followed by 100 fasts in like zone four, zone five. 15 second recoveries and basically kept repeating that. So it was like 100 pull in zone one, zone two into freestyle, 100 in zone three, 
four and five and did a lot of repeats of that. It's about 1.30, we're gonna go home and eat, shower up, and then drive to the gym at about three, do legs and core, and I'll probably get some footage for you guys. Pulse swim, pre-lift. We're having Special K red berries, one scoop of chocolate whey protein as the milk. Eating that up real quick and then driving straight to the gym. One thing I don't get sick of is cereal, that's for sure. shop and what they told me was when I fell I did bend the back gear changer they were just replacing a part and I'm gonna get it back tomorrow free of charge I get one tuning after I purchased the bike there so they're tuning it and they're also swapping that out for me so it's gonna work beautifully again which is awesome so I had chicken and rice for dinner with my parents and my brother just hung out visited them and I came back watching uh, some YouTube as I relax, wind down. It's 7.30, you know I sleep at nine, so I'm gonna start editing a video and then read for the last 30 minutes before bed. That's gonna conclude the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more triathlon training vlogs like this, portfolio updates, and stock investing videos, and I'll see you in the next video.